Union Baptist Temple will be celebrating their 100th anniversary. Our theme is to know him and to make him known, who now rejoice in my suffering for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church whereof I am a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, to whom God would make known what is the riches of his glory, of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom. I love you, Jesus. I worship and
are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. A 
promise keeper. Some of us right now are living on the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper. That is who you are. Waymaker. Sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Oh, that room that came within is reassured. As I keep my eyes upon the dead, I'm sure I know you live. Me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease, and if the wind keep on blowing in the
to all of you who are giving through Givelify and now Union has a cash app and those who faithfully send in your tithes and offerings each week. If you are mailing your offering in, it's Union Baptist Temple Post Office Box 683 Bridgeton, New Jersey 08302 Union Baptist Temple Post Office Box 683 Bridgeton, New Jersey 08302 At this time we will give you opportunities that you might be able to give. You can't be God's giving No matter how you try Just as sure As you are living 
For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. The word of God. He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Just for a few moments, I want to talk about good trouble. This past week, we lost two of our greatest civil rights leaders. C.T. Vivian and John Lewis. John Lewis said, if you see something, you ought to say something and you ought to do something. If you see something, you ought to say something and you ought to do something. When I look at the life of Job, I want to talk about three brothers today. I want to talk about Job, John, and Jesus. Because all of them have suffered trouble. Matter of fact, I tried to find out that each one of them suffered six troubles. Let's look at Job. Most of us have heard the story about Job when he had everything together. Then all of a sudden, one day, everything that he thought he had was lost. Just a few months ago, we, we thought we had everything together. And then the pandemic hit not only our country, but our world. Look at Job. Let's see some of the things that Job was affected by. His health, health care, his wealth, economics, his friends, sociology, loss of life, grief share. Depression. He started talking to himself. And then, on top of all of that, he had a wife that he needed marriage counseling. Look at those six areas. And if we look at those six, some of us are suffering in those same six areas. We got health problems. Money problems, twin problems. We're going through bereavement, and all this is called uh, called some type of depression. And we have marital situations. But look at the verse that says, "Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected." During this time. God has put some families back together. He's put some marriages back together. He's helped us that even in spite of our little situation that we've been going through health-wise, it does not compare to those individuals right now who are in the hospital on ventilators. We got to thank God for what we already have right now and that God has blessed us and he has covered us. Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. And I know that during this time, some people have even questioned whether God is still on the throne. He's on the throne. He's still watching 
over his children. But he has allowed some things that he might bring us closer to him. Some people who have never prayed are praying now. Some who never picked up their Bible is now reading the word. And how many of you ever heard somebody, I can't wait till we can get back to church. When they had the opportunity to come, they didn't even come. But now they're talking about, I can't wait till I get back to church. Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Verse 18 says, For he maketh sore and bindeth up, he wounded, and his hands make whole. This morning I am so glad that trouble don't last always. I'm glad that trouble don't last always. He's brought me through this. He brought me through that. And I know he's able to take me through this pandemic situation. And then it says, he shall deliver thee in six trouble. Job had his health, his wealth, Socially, bereavement, depression, and marital. Let's see about John Lewis, a civil rights leader who brought us together. Some of his troubles were segregation. He fought for civil rights. Racial equality. He fought for voting, health care, and the right that everybody could experience an education. Those were his troubles. How many have experienced some type of segregation? their civil rights violated? Who's ever had a situation where you believe it was racial profiling? There's even been some in the congregation that even had their voting rights in question. Many of you had health health care issues. And I'm a witness to this next one for education. There were a lot of people who believed we weren't able to be educated, but God has turned that around. I'm glad for John Lewis because he moved us, he moved us from the back of the bus to the middle of the bus, to the front of the bus, to even drive the bus. And now we're even able to own a bus. Here's six trouble. But God helped him and delivered him out of them all. So we talk about Job. We talk about John. And let's talk about Jesus. Because even when Jesus was born, there was trouble. Pharaoh tried to take him out. There were individuals who wanted to see him so that they might kill him 
even as a babe. His parents had enough sense to take him to the continent of Africa, to Egypt, so that he could blend in. After that, during his earthly ministry, Jesus was confronted by society and especially some religious folk about healing on the Sabbath day. Another one, one of his other troubles about he was questioned about whether he was the son of the living God. Fourth trouble, he went to trial from judgment hall to judgment hall. Fifth trouble, he was crucified on an old rugged cross. Sixth trouble, he was buried in an empty tomb. But look at verse 19 again. He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yea, in seventh, there shall be no evil that shall be with thee. All of them, Job, John, and Jesus, let's talk about their seventh trouble. Job, when he went through all of his troubles, on his seventh trouble, God turned around and restored everything that he lost. He gave him double for his trouble. That's why you got to hang in there. That's why you got to hang in there. Because God will bless you. He may not come when you're morning. But he's always, he's always on time. John Lewis, in his seventh trouble, today and for the next six days, they're taking him to be honored all over the country. But today, they're going to take him over that bridge where he was beaten. Skull was broken open. Today, they're going to take him across that bridge one more time. His seventh trouble that he's going to be honored. And we honor him. Because of what he's been through, we're able to experience freedom and justice today. Oh, but there's one more day. One more day. We talk about Job. We talk about John. But let's talk about Jesus. Because Jesus, in his seventh trial, early one Sunday morning, early one Sunday morning, he got up out of that grave and declared, he declared justice for all. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. John, Job, and Jesus. But John Lewis said, if you see something, say something, and then do something. And one of his last quotes, it's all right to get in trouble as long as it's 
good trouble. Because each one of them, John, Job, and Jesus were all considered troublemakers. But it's all right to be in trouble as long as it's good trouble. I want to see how many troublemakers we have out there today. Because you don't mind making trouble that God might be glorified. Some of you experience everything I talked about today. But remember in that seventh trouble, he will not allow evil to befall any of us. If Job waited on the Lord, why can't I? Job waited to the flesh fell off his wounds. He waited till all hope he thought was gone. But if Job waited on the Lord, why can't I? Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And I encourage all of you troublemakers to keep making good trouble. Keep walking on the devil's territory. Make good trouble. And I'm glad to know that we got some folk that will, when they see something, they will say something and they will do something. Everybody in this parking lot ought to be a registered voter. And you ought to be telling your family and friends to make sure they register and to make sure they vote. Because if you see something, you ought to say something and you ought to do something. That's why we're asking you to make sure that you fill out the census so that economics can come to our area. If you see something, you ought to say something, and you ought to do something, because you are a troublemaker. And John Lewis said, it's all right to be a troublemaker as long as you're doing good trouble. And I'm glad today to know that we got some saints that don't mind making some good trouble for the body of Christ. Let's bow in prayer. Father, I thank you again for allowing us this opportunity to come into this place. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify your name. For you alone, you are worthy of the praise. How great is our God. Someone's listening today who may not know you in the pardon of their sin. We invite them to repeat this prayer in their
God. And Romans chapter 10 tells us that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. And you have to admit and acknowledge that you are a sinner. B, you have to believe in your heart the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins. And C, you have to confess him as Lord. And repeat this prayer, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I've come short of your glory, but I believe in my heart that you died on the cross for my sins. And I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of all my sins. Thank you for accepting me into your body. And there may be some others who've accepted Christ, but presently, you're looking for a church home. You're looking for a place where you can worship God in spirit and in truth. We give you that opportunity today. But if you're listening or viewing us, if you accept the Christ during this service, if you want to become one of our members via Facebook, I'm asking you to leave on our chat room. Leave where you can make comments and give us your that we might be in contact with you. Also, like last week, you can call the church at 856-451-6054 and leave a message. 856-451-6054 five, four. Even if there's someone in the parking lot, someone that hears my voice, and if you want to become a member of the temple, we invite you wherever you are. Just come forward to where I am that you might be accepted into this church. We give God glory and honor and praise for all that he's done for us. For there's someone praying for you right now.
many times in life people look to things to find happiness. Others look in other people to find fulfillment. But I found out that the only real source of joy and strength is found only in Jesus Christ. I encourage you today to cast all of your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Only in Jesus Christ will you find everything that you need. I am. I am so glad that you only you stay right there